Well, hello there, all you strange and interesting creatures of the internet. Welcome back to the All Seasons on F1 2019. Yes, if anyone caught the end of my last video, you will have known that due to the fact that the Hookster beat the championship in just two seasons in 2018, the FIA have decided to revoke his F1 super license. So yes, he's been banished down to the lower regions of motorsport in the F2 series, yes. So he's got to fight his way back into Formula 1. Now he's already been doing this and he's already at almost the three quarter way point of the season. Anyway, the team he picked for F2 was Campos Racing. Okay then, and the Driver Academy was Mercedes. So, let's do this. Campos's new driver really commanding the race here. Devon Butler still ruthlessly giving chase. These two have been really scrapping it out for the early wins in the championship. And something's wrong. Butler sees his chance. Some kind of mechanical failure. Picking up speed again. It's unclear what the issue was. Can they still finish this race? Looks like an issue with the turbo. You've lost some speed at the top end, but you're very close to the finish. You can still compete and get some points here. Don't give up. Just do the best you can. We're all behind you. So we have lost the turbo on the car, but we've just got to carry on and keep going and hopefully get some decent points in this F2 race. You can see we're currently in fifth position and our teammate Weber is currently directly behind us. Your teammate is approaching and wants to get past. Repeat, Lucas wants to pass you. Well, there's an old saying that goes around here that says that we never give up and we never surrender and we also don't let anyone pass either, even if it is our teammate. Again, your teammate wants to pass you. I know you don't want to drop a position, but without your turbo, he's the best one to challenge for points further up the field. If you hold Lucas up, you could be denying the team points. What a thing to say to the hookster. Now, is he going to let his teammate pass? No, he bloody well isn't. We're asking again. Please let Lucas pass while there's still time for him to make a challenge. Some people are going to want to talk to you after this. Not letting Lucas pass has potentially denied the team valuable points. For now, race on. Do the best you can. No, not now. Next time the team give you an instruction, follow it. It is not a request. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I, am I interrupting? I can leave or... Uh, actually, no, continue. Please. Can we help you with something? Oh, it was just, uh, you were the better driver. Yeah. From my car, it seemed like you deserved the win. Okay, congratulations. But the team gave you an order. You could have jeopardized it for both of us. You know, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you really don't have what it takes to be a champion. Lucas uh, likes to talk a good game about the whole uh, team thing. But the fact is, if you're in the same situation, do you really think he'd let you pass? I would. See the hesitation? Anyway, it doesn't matter who wins. Next season, I'll be spending my Sunday afternoons atop the F1 podium, while you two will be teaching kids to drive go-karts. Good luck, yeah? Look, I understand why you did it. Do you really think an F1 team will allow you to just drive however you want? Come on. There you are. That was an exciting race. It definitely got people talking about you, which means I was able to secure a quick interview. Okay, we're all set over here. Just a minute. Remember, anything you say to the press can go very, very public. So be relaxed, but also be conscious of what you're saying and how it might come across to other people, okay? I think we're ready. Great. So Emma keeps telling me you're the one to watch this season. If that's true, you'll be doing plenty of these. Just remember, be yourself. And the more you can give me, the better this will go. Right, stand here. Turn a little this way for me. Perfect. Ready? An exciting race today. Let's get your perspective. 
So you and Lucas are new to the team. How are you settling in? I want to ask, why didn't you let Lucas pass when your team told you to? Great, well that's everything. Look at them go! Devon Butler locked in wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing with his championship rival, desperate to shut them down and stop them getting past. And there's contact! Butler simply left them nowhere to go. There was just no way for them to have avoided that. And look, there's significant damage. Not sure if that was down to recklessness or sheer aggression, but I'm sure the stewards are going to have something to say very shortly. Don't give up. You're still in this race. Devon! Devon, stop! Not now, I'm busy. Hey! What are you doing out there? Seriously? I'm gonna celebrate my excellent drive. We saw what you did. It was reckless. You should have been black flagged. Yeah, and I wasn't because it was my line. You were in my space. You shouldn't have been. Next time, stay out of my way. No! Someone could have been hurt. And that didn't happen, so what's your problem? My problem is that your actions out there are too dangerous. Listen, contact happens. Okay? Took my penalty, but I kept it focused, kept it smooth, and came out on top. That's racing! I need to grow up with you every time I make a tough move. Do you want to play race director? Then quit driving and take the job. Until then, I don't owe you anything. Devin, you don't get it. It's not me you should be apologizing to. Look, you grab your space on the track, and then it's all or nothing. That's just how it goes. And anyway, you still couldn't beat me, even with my penalty. So no hard feelings, okay? Not from my end, anyway. Chin up! Joining me for one last time here this year is Davide Valsecchi. Davide, I'm glad you're here, because I think I'm going to need help processing all this. Surely, this is as exciting as it gets. Yeah, you're right, Alex. It's the perfect finale. Two drivers, rivals of season, now going into the final race, tied on points. Both way out in front at the top of the standings. Meaning whichever of these two drivers cross the line first will be crowned champion. I can't wait. Okay, this is it. Last race of the season. All you have to do is finish in the points ahead of Devon, and the next time we see each other, you'll be the F2 world champion. No pressure then. Good luck.
achieve what we asked, good job. It's been my privilege over the years to witness a number of great sporting events, and here's another to add to that prestigious list. It's the ultimate dream for any racing driver. We have a new Formula 2 world champion. Congratulations, mate. F2 champion. Hey, congratulations. Enjoy it, because it's the last time it will ever happen. Devon, it's okay to be upset. You came very close. Yeah, yeah. We know things would have turned out very differently if I didn't get slapped with that ridiculous penalty. What is it with you and complaining? Look, somehow you managed to do a lot of things right today. It's great. You needed the win, I didn't. For me, this was always just a stepping stone to F1. Oh, you two, you two. You got your work out for you now that I'm gone. So you're going to have to prove to everyone it was more than just luck that got you here. Sure. Winning one race is luck. Winning the championship is talent. Really? Next time you use that incredible talent to ram into someone and steal all their points, remember they won't be as forgiving as I am. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I gotta run. Yeah. Things to sign, important paperwork and all that. I'm sure you understand. Ciao! So, with this big win, you're gonna be getting a lot of interest. All I can say is choose wisely, or else you might end up with someone like Devon as your teammate. Come on, let's go celebrate. Ah, oh, welcome. Come on in. Take a seat. It's time we had the big conversation about your next move. Your performance at the F2 Championships last year got you a lot of attention from the Formula One teams. Some of it more positive than others. I'm not so concerned with who does or doesn't like you. You'll have plenty of time to win the doubters over. But I am concerned with our choices. They're narrowing as we haven't shown commitment to anyone. Now, as your agent, my advice is to make your decision now. We can worry about comfort and finer points further down the line. I need you to review these. You've earned every single one of these proposals. So take your time, have a read through, and don't get too hung up on specifics. Let's get you a Formula One seat. Oh, thank you, Emski. And despite the FIA's insistence on keeping the hookster down, he has won the F2 Championship and we are back in Formula One. Fantastic. We'll, of course, be driving for Mercedes for our first season in the All no, of course not. Of course not. It's going to be the Rocket Williams racing car starting right at the back of the field, no doubt, for our first season on the All Seasons on F1 2019. And our teammate is going to be George Russell, I do believe. Yes, that seems like quite a popular choice right now. Yes, Mr. George Russell. So I think we'll go for him. Wowzers. Excellent choice. From my conversations with them, they're going to be very excited to pursue this opportunity with you. I'll let them know our intentions immediately. I'll have to clean up some final details with them, but that's what you pay me for. Other than that, congratulations. You've earned it. Oh, hey, you're here. I'll catch up with you. Sorry, I'm just on my way out, but your workstation's at the back over there. It should be all set up on the network, but let the guys know if it is. From there, you can access all the data you need to help us direct development of the car. Get yourself settled and then head out to practice when you're ready. I'll catch up with you later, okay? Gee, thanks, Bruce. But it's data, mate, not data. No, anyway, as you can see from our vehicle performance comparison, we are in the Williams and we are right at the back. And look at our performance. It's very, very bad indeed. We're just about ready to kick off today's qualifying here in Melbourne. It's the Australian Grand Prix. So here we go then, first qualifying run in the Williams car and already the Hookster has reported that this car is a potato. Yes, yeah, an absolute potato of the highest order of potato-ness and uh, Nico Hulkenberg just putting the fastest lap. Let's see what time the Hookster can put in as he almost bins it there coming around the final corner. Carlos Sainz has now got pole at the moment and we cross the line and it's, it's third but it's 1.7 seconds away from pole position. As we accelerate forward now to loop it later to the qualifying, you can see, oh my goodness, 
We are down to last place already. 20th position for Dilkster. George Russell is just ahead of us in 19th position. We are up on our sector time though, so hopefully we may be able to outdrive George and get higher up the grid. Are we going to do so as we cross the line? Are we going to beat George Russell? Come on, come on, come on. And he asked that. He's got yes, we bloody well do. Look at that. 19th place for Dilkster at the moment. Wowzers, me trousers. Anyway, a little bit later qualifying. You can see just three and a half minutes left of quali. Still in 19th place for the Hookster at the moment. George Russell still right at the back of the field. And Maxi Boy Verstappen currently has pole position with a 123.403. I don't think we're going to beat that. We are slightly up on the deltas, but I don't think it's going to change our position as we cross the line. And it's, yeah, it's still 19th place. So qualifying is now over. We now cross the line. Did we end in 19th or have we dropped down the field? We're just about to find out. Wowzers. I'm so excited. So excited. And yes, look at that. Look at that. Last place for the hookster. Last place for the hookster in the Williams. So there you go. Last for us, George Russell in 19th place. Devon Butler. Devon Butler in 14th place. New drivers, new cars. It's a new Formula One season. But it's the same Albert Park that we've come to know and love for more than two decades now, the place host to round one of a 21 race championship that takes us from here in Australia, across the globe, and the eventual season finale at the Yaz Island circuit in Abu Dhabi. The Melbourne circuit is certainly one that needs to be taken seriously. Its combination of slippery surfaces and difficult corners make it a tricky track when it comes to overtakes. Drivers find it hard to pass and will need to take full advantage of those DRS zones if they want to have any hope of breaking through. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Bottas, Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel and Albon, Norris, Raikkonen, Grosjean and Kevin Magnussen, Sainz, Weber, Lance Stroll and Butler, Hulkenberg, Perez, Daniel Kvyat and Daniel Ricciardo, Russell and the captain. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. So here we go then, first race out in Australia as the five lights go out on the woo, season's career, but we say go, 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 and it's away he goes. Wow, great start off the line for Nookster, gets straight past his teammate, George Russell already. We've got Daniel Ricciardo as the left of us, we're going to turn one, is he going to do a dive? Yes he does, oh, Sergio Perez in front of us, a little bit of contact there with Sergio. The other force injures us off to the uh, left-hand side of Lance Stroll, yes, Lance Stroll, but we hold on now to this 15th place. We're in the middle of a force India racing point sandwich as he now goes for a dive down on two more cars. He's trying to get past the Toro Rosso, I do believe, I think that it's Butler. It's Devon Butler, and there's a bit of a contact there with Devon Butler, but he gets through, yes, he gets through and past Devon Butler. His next target is, of course, his uh, other rival, and that's uh, Weber. Weber, of course, from last season in the F2, Wales has been trousers, but Devon Butler was trying to fight back there and get the position back from the hooker, but he's holding on now to 13th place, and Weber's got past Carlos Sainz, who's now down to 12th place. Oh, he had to break very, very hard there, did Weber, and let's give the opportunity for the hooker to try and get past Carlos Sainz in the McLaren car and he does so so he's up now into 12th position and chasing 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 on Weber who is called in the Alfa Romeo for the 2019 season so there you go we are just outside the world championship points at the moment in our first run out in the Williams car which unfortunately is very, very slow indeed. And the development is very, very poor. It has to be said, this of course was the season when Williams were possibly at their worst, being sponsored uh, by Rocket as well. Didn't help. No, it certainly didn't help. Anyway, just coming around the corner now at the end of the first lap and uh, Lewis Hamilton puts in the fastest lap. We still hold on to 12th position at the moment, still chasing Weber. But he is starting to pull away a little bit from us now. Carlos Sainz is fighting back, trying to get past us, trying to sneak down the inside of us. But we go a little bit wide on the exit, but we manage to hold on to the place at the moment. OK, we accelerate forward now to lap three. Still holding on to 12th position. We've got Roman Galojan currently in front of us now. And behind us, we've got Carlos Sainz still in that McLaren car. We just come around the final corner to go down the start and finish line. A little bit of... Uh, sort of judicious corner cut in there from the hookster but he's okay and he carries on oh my goodness look at this in the rear view mirrors though we've got signs and we've got Sergio Perez both trying to get past the hookster and oh he's off he's off into the boondocks off into the grass and the gravel but he manages to hold it all together and hold it a moment to this 12th position 
Still behind Grosjean, but uh, still ahead of Sergio Perez. We've got yellow flags though. This is the opportunity that we need. That means, oh, Lando Norris is out of the session. There he is, just coming off off the left-hand side. Looks like an engine failure. There's definitely something coming out the back of that McLaren car for Lando Norris. And that's exactly what the hooks they needed because under yellow flags, of course, they couldn't try and get past us, which is great because they were looking very, very aggressive indeed trying to get past hooks to us. We accelerate forward out of lap five. Yes, yeah, just going past the pits once again. Still holding on to 11th place. And look at this, the false India racing point. They have to break very, very hard there. That was Lance Stroll trying to get past us, but hooks to hold on to 11th place on lap six now. Yes, lap six, just outside the World Championship points as we accelerate forward out of the end of lap six. And it looks like we've got a car coming. Yes, Kevin Magnussen is coming for his stop. So look at this. We go into the World Championship points in our first race in the Williams. Of course, it's only net points because we haven't come in for our stop. But just to show you, after just seven laps, the Hookster has managed to get this dog of a car, this potato car, into the World Championship points, if it, even though it's only going to be for just a few laps. But he has done it, everyone. As we accelerate forward out of lap seven, going past the pits again, two more cars are coming, including his teammate. He's gone up now into eighth position behind Maxi Boy Verstappen, who's currently in seventh. Kimi Raikkonen behind in ninth place on lap eight. As we accelerate forward now, still on lap eight. It looks like it's going to be time now for the hookster to come in for his pit stop. Yes, here he comes in for his stop now. And uh, he comes in from 8th position, Raikkonen behind, Weber in front. Of course, he's going to lose those positions, and I think he's going to lose any World Championship points, to be honest, because he wasn't really in the fight at the start of this race. So there's his team. There they are. Oh, blimey, I thought he was going to drive past, and I forgot they were in black for 2019. Thank you, lads. And we change on to the yellow sidewall tyre, the harder tyre, or in fact, in fact, the medium tyre for the rest of this stint. And we rejoin now in 13th position, just ahead of Daniel Ricciardo, the honey badger, and just behind Loman Golojan on lap 9 of this Grand Prix. As we accelerate forward now, still on lap 9. Just going past the pits. Two cars have come in, but one has already come out, I do believe. Oh, look at this, though. We've got a, a real attacking car behind. It's a torpedo. It's Daniel Graviet, the torpedo man himself. In, of course, the Toro Rosso, trying to get past us, but we're holding on to 12th place at the moment on lap 10. Yes, lap 10. Lance Stroll still ahead of us in that racing point. As we accelerate forward down to lap 12, I still hold on to 12th place. And look at this. We are ahead of Devon Butler. I say that, though. Look at this. He's dumping over the curves, trying to get past us, but we managed to hold him off and hold on to this 12th position. On lap 13, we've just two more laps to go in this Grand Prix, and we accelerate forward now to the last lap. Lewis Hamilton has actually won the race, as you can see. We are still holding on to 12th position. Lance Stroll is going to finish in 11th, and we are going to beat the torpedo man himself, Daniel Crivia, in that Toro Rosso car, and cross the line in 12th place. Pretty decent for the first run, it has to be said, in the Williams car. I'm very, very happy with that. Very, very happy indeed as we cross the line now in 12th place. Fantastic. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. There you go. There you go. So 12th place for Dukster. And there uh, is, oh my goodness, he looks even younger this year, does Toto. Wowzers, what have they done? Perhaps he went back in time. I don't know. But there's Lulu. There's Lewis Hamilton. Yes. Well done, Lulu. And there's his team mechanics. Congratulate themselves like they always do. Well done, lads. Well done indeed. Get out of his car now. He's Alexander Albon, who, of course, is back in Formula One in 20. 22. So, on to the podium now, and you can see there's Lulu up on the top step. Sebastian Vettel in the Ferrari in second place, and Valtteri Bottas in third position as Lewis holds up the trophy high. Look at that, yes. Another one for the trophy cabinet. Well done, Lewis. Well done indeed. As the champagne goes over everyone. Yes. Get in there. Get in there. Great result. Great result for Mercedes. So let's have a look at the World Championship points, which are pretty academic, has to be said, at this stage. We're currently in 12th position in the Williams, Lewis Hamilton out in front with 26 points. And uh, Devon Butler, Devon Butler only finished in 14th place, but we did get bested by Lucas Weber. Yes, Lucas Weber. So there you go. Okay then, so all in all, a pretty decent start to the season at Australia. And now it's time once again for one of those boring, boring interviews with Claire and I just like to say thanks so much for watching everyone you've been awesome as always and yes as always there will of course be more 
Later. Appreciate your time.